guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Shanine. So for today, I am very, very excited to be um, doing this vlog because I have a surprise for you. So um, two days ago, drum roll please. We got a puppy. <laughs> Everyone, this is Luca. Say hi, Luca. He's very shy. But look at this cutie. He's very sweet. So Luca is a Cavapuchon. Um, so he's a mix of a Cavalier, um, King Charles Spaniel, a Toy Poodle, and a B Bichon Frise. So I'm not sure if I said that right. Um, so Luca's dad was a Toy Poodle, and his mom was a Cavapuchon already. So I guess he's he has a lot more poodle in him in him. So look at this baby. He's very shy. Luca, say hi. Say hi. So we just got him two days ago. Um it's been a little over 48 hours. And he's been very good. Um no accidents, no potty accidents inside the house. Um he slept for five hours straight on the first night, and last night um, for seven hours, he was good. No crying, um, no barking on day two. And then um, he, he's, I would say he's already potty trained, but we still can't really be very, um, we still have to be careful. He's very good. Uh, we use baby crates around the house, uh, not baby crates, baby like, baby pe like play pens or gates sorry baby gates because um we have cats in the house so we just want to make sure uh we haven't really fully introduced them together so we're just introducing them together uh very slow um i don't want him stressed he's already stressed from the move uh from moving into his new home <music> Today, I will be sharing with you the new poppy haul. Um, let's start off with the food that we're giving him. So we're giving him James' well uh, well-beloved um, dry food. So this was recommended by, his, uh, by the breeder. Okay, so they said he likes turkey. And we also mix it with a little bit of the same brand of wet food and then um, of course his treats very important um, for training your puppy we have this I opened it already this is his favorite he really likes it okay what else um, we have this so this is a Kong so I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube on how to train your puppy, on how to prepare for your puppy. So I'm also doing this to share my experience and um, of course to share, to share what I learned throughout watching all the YouTube videos. Um, I highly recommend Rachel Fosaro and there's some other guy I forgot but I've been watching Rachel's um, vlogs because he's really, she's very good um, and so far it's been really effective everything that we learn um, we were prepared to wake up every hour to two hours at night to take him outside but we got lucky we got him at 12 weeks already so Luca is 12 weeks old um, so he's much older than the age that we usually get them usually at eight weeks so that's why he's also pretty good at holding and controlling his bladder okay he's wandering off I have to check what he's doing. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so what, where was I? Okay, so he's, uh, we got lucky that we got him at that age and he's pretty good at controlling his bladder. Um, he can hold it for about five to six hours straight. Um, we're trying to take him a few, hour, uh, few hours each time, um, but he's doing great. And okay, so what's next? We have this. This is really cute. I got this from Amazon. 
Um, it's very soft, so he really likes it. I call this his day bed. Um, he uses it when I put this around the house um, when I'm doing stuff for some chores in the house. So he uses this in the morning or during the day. He, he has another one that I put inside his crate and he also loves that. I'll show it to you guys later. Of course, toys. He likes this squeaky toy. Um, what else? Okay, sorry. I was gonna go back to this. So this is the Kong. Um, I've seen this in a lot of vlogs. Um, they said this is very useful. I started off with, um, you know, it's very good to keep your dogs, your puppies busy. So this is a good way to keep them busy. So you can put food inside it, their favorite food. And then um, usually put the dry food inside and then top it off with some wet food. And then you can freeze it and use it, give it to your dog. And they'll start just being, you know, it's an interactive way of um, feeding them. So give it to them. It takes a while to really take all the food out. So it also depends on the age of your dog. So this is the puppy size. Uh, you can get it, this in different sizes and also, I guess, resistance. So this is pretty soft. Okay, it's good for the puppy. But make sure you supervise them while they use this because um, it's dangerous. Like they might be able to um, eat it or choke with it um i mean they might swallow it accidentally so just be careful so make sure you get the right size for your dog too this is for the puppy it's just perfect for him he can't swallow it um we have this toy this is actually the toy toy for the cats but we tried to give it to him it has the smell of our cat so it might help him and just get to know them better and um, this thing has a little heartbeat so it mimics a heartbeat and you know he before coming to us he lived with his sister and mom so he misses them i'm sure so i hope this one was helping him okay so you can get that for your puppy some of these things i'll be giving you um we probably bought a little extra so um some of it are not very essential <laughs> Okay, so like this. Um, this is like a treat bag. Uh, it's, you know, when you go out, bring your puppy outside. It's so, it's difficult to have so many things with you, probably your poop bag, um, treats, just all that. You can put them all in one bag, in one purse. So I got this from Puppy and Ted. They're pretty good um, and really cute. I love all their designs. Um, this one is also like the case for their poop bag. Okay, so you just open and poop bag. So don't forget your poop bags too. You'll need a lot. <laughs> Make sure you pick up your dog's, you know, dirt. And then we have a clicker. So Sam got him this clicker. So this is how we, we just use, recently used this. We just started using this today, I mean a few hours ago. So according, uh, it's just to help train the dog. And then, very important, puppy pads. Okay. Um, like I said, he was good in the last two days. Um, no accidents, not even on the, like he didn't go into puppy pad, only once we go outside which we're really very thankful for um but you'll still need it i just put it around just in case he needs to go and then another one is this is his blanket okay it has his name on it so the breeder gave us a puppy pack it has his favorite food in it milk um some toys and a blanket uh, that his mom used so the smell of his mom is still there and I used that on his crate and what else um, a little bit of you know instructions on time feeding times and all that his health health certificate so yeah it was very nice of them to do that and what else do we have here another toy another squeaky toy he likes this 
Well, I'm going to show you his favorite toy. His favorite toy is this octopus. There's one inside his his. It's very soft. Um, it has a little sound inside too. But he loves it in here. It's it's also very light, so he can just carry it around his mouth. Um, this is unnecessary, but I love dressing up my pets, so I got this little cute thing. Um. I got other stuff inside too. I haven't tried using it on him. Get this. <laughs> I ordered some more sweaters online, but haven't gotten it. It hasn't arrived yet. So these clothes I got from TK Maxx. They're pretty cheap. Um, they were on sale too. So most of the products that we have in here are from Amazon. And um, if not, I would link everything below in the description box. And um, we have a lead, so you'll need this. This matches his collar today. And um, we just have a towel. So I actually ordered something from Etsy that's customized, so it's not here yet. So we're using this temporarily. A collar. So he has one on his neck already. And then this we got on Amazon too. So this is the extended lead. I don't know what you call it specifically. The brand is All Pet Solutions. Um, I'm not sure how far this can go, but you can get different sizes. So this is good. We used this when we took him out yesterday to the park because he can go further and still play play fetch with it. We just make sure it's um, it's at the end, like at the longest. You know, uh, it's at its longest, so he can go further and still be able to play. But we want to keep him on the lead while in the park because there are some cars around, and of course, it's dangerous. So we just he's he's still a puppy, so um, we want to keep him safe, right? And uh, what else do I have here? Oh, I have this. So this is so cute. I found this on. TK Maxx also, and um, this is a, just where you put store his treats. See, it's inside already. So his favorite treats in here. It's airtight. It's uh, sealed, so that's good to keep the treats fresh. And then I have this so i ordered this from etsy unfortunately he doesn't like it right now and i think he's probably too small for it but hopefully in the future when he gets bigger um he'll start using this okay um we noticed that he doesn't like like bowls stainless steels so um i think it's crazy i bought a few stainless steels for him but steel stainless steel bowls for him but he doesn't want to use it so i've been using our plate uh ceramic plate um yes so what else i have this this thing you can open i got this from amazon so because i've been watching vlogs um i found this you put Ooh, he's crying because i think he knows sam just got home um so you can put dry food around this and it keeps them busy while you're feeding them you know it also helps to for some dogs who really eats fast this will slow them down and put the food there okay and then so this is his carrier um this is a backpack um his head will pop out in here very cute um i'll show you a photo of him in here um so here is another one great guys um you can get this on Amazon. I love it just because you can use it for water like he drinks from this area. And then the best part of it is when you unlock it. Wow, it's pretty hard now. <laughs> so you unlock it, water comes out. But then if he doesn't finish all the water that you gave him, you can just put it back in. So that's my favorite feature really really great so this is on amazon i'm gonna link it below and then what else it also comes in different colors 
Ooh, let's open this. Okay. Ah, this one's important, you know, when you have a puppy. Um, if they make a mess, hopefully mine wouldn't. Hopefully he wouldn't. And then um, it removes stain and odor. I, I heard this is good. It is like an... Wait. I read about something about an enzyme. I heard that is the best thing you can get. Right. Also in Amazon, a lot more poop bags. This is shampoo. So um, it's, it's so cute. It says the name is a Chalka Doodle for Poodle Cross Breeds. So it's a two-in-one conditioning shampoo. I haven't used it, but um, this is recommended by his breeder. Um, what else? Oh, this is the lick mat. So from all the videos that I've been watching, they recommend this. So this you can stick on through the wall um, and distract the dog. Like let's say when you do some grooming, maybe washing him, doing nail clipping or do whatever, brushing, um, you can distract them. You can put some wet food in there, some peanut butter, and they get distracted. And it's easy for you. This cute harness. So got this from Puppy and Ted. Uh, it matches with his lead and collar. His toy. So this one is a ball. So you can play, you know, tug of war with them. We have more puppy pads inside. I also use the sweat wipes. So every time we go out, we play outside. Um, I use this to clean his paws, just to clean him. Sometimes uh, I just use water with some towel. One more harness. We have a few harnesses here. Another rope toy. So this is a giraffe. <laughs> I haven't given this to him. So they advise you not to give too much toys to him. So sometimes I just give him one toy in every area so he doesn't get um, bored with it. So this ball, this tiny ball I use when we play outside to play fetch. Uh, this one is groomer's performance intensive detangle detangle so you spray this on knots and tangles on his hair because of his breed and he's very curly um you need to brush them every day because they can get nuts knots and matting and you don't want that for them so i try my best to brush him every day i use uh this comb he, he's fine with this, and um, I also have one that I use with the cats, but he doesn't like it, so I'm just showing you guys this. It probably depends on your dog. Here's another one. It's like just it's similar to the stick mat, uh, the lick mat, not stick mat, lick mat. And... Yeah, so like I said, most of these things I bought from Amazon, TK Maxx, uh, what else? Poppy and Ted, and Etsy. The customized one are from Etsy. Okay, so I don't think I'm missing anything. Um, let me look at this. So I'll show you his crate. Um, we got this crate on Amazon also. It's like the Iris crate. Um, I wanted to buy the Diggs. Uh, crate for him. Unfortunately, it's only available in the U.S. They only ship within the U.S. and it's really frustrating. So we found this crate that is also great. I actually love it. Um, it's just well, I I've never tried the Diggs one, but I've read a lot of reviews about it, and they said it was really good. So I thought uh, we wanted that. Okay, so that's his crate, the Iris crate from. Um, Amazon. We ordered it in Amazon. I'm sure it's also in other stores like pet stores probably. Bigger pet stores will sell it but it was just convenient to get it from Amazon. Um, it's great. It's spacious. It fits him. Um, we still put a little pu puppy pad, training pad on the one side and then his bed on the other. So 
that um, just in case at night, he, let's say he really needed to go potty. Um, he has his potty pad in there, puppy pad in there. So um, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. I will be posting more vlogs about Luca. And don't forget to follow him on Instagram. It's Luca the Cavapuchon. Cavapuchon. Okay, sorry. So it's Luca the Cavapuchon. Um, follow him. And follow me. I will be posting um, a lot photos and stories about him on my Instagram too. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will be posting more puppy vlogs soon and I will be showing you his training and how we train him and a little more updates about just having a puppy. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks again for watching. Bye!